My name is Vincent Evers, and this month I was in Dutch court to fight two penalties I got for holding my phone while driving with the Tesla pilot at the wheel. The police officer told me that the car drove safely and that it stayed stable in the middle of the road, but because of the law, he had to fine me anyway 240 euros. Axel Miller from HelloLaw.nl developed the following strategy for my defense. My defense was motivated by both legal and society aspects. In my legal defense, I stated that I'm indeed the legal driver of the car and responsible, but the Tesla is the factual driver. That's comparable with the driving instructor with his or her student. Therefore, I am responsible for that car safety, but I'm also allowed to use my phone while keeping a close eye on my student, the Tesla Model X. My society defense is that studies based on Tesla's numbers show that driving with an autopilot causes seven times less accident than normal cars, 480,000 miles versus 3.3 million. Then, if you take into account that 50% of the people in the Netherlands use their phones regularly, while driving their car, which I think is extremely nuts and dangerous, using autopilot is a hundred times safer and will improve every year. So I think legislation should be adopted with that development in mind. Specifically, I would suggest that the RDW, the Dutch Vehicle Registration Authority, should in the future be able to hand out driver licenses to cars to drive autonomous for specific times, like one minute, or two, and places like the highway when the software is good enough. Right now there's a hundred times differences in safety between autonomous, uh, different autonomous software like Google Wayno, which can drive 35,000 miles without any intervention and Uber, which I would not trust for a mile, with Tesla in the middle. This week I lost the case. The judge said, according to the law, the person behind the wheel is the driver, period. One of the reasons he quoted it was that the Tesla website said you should always stay alert and touch the steering wheel every 30 seconds. And that's true. But the warning and the 30 second rules is partly because it's obliged by the regulators. This is circular reasoning and only proves my point that we should update our legislation according to the recent and especially the future developments. The law which makes it forbidden to hold a phone is from 2002 so an iPad doesn't count because it didn't exist then. The law needs to be changed and I'm committed to bring that to the attention of the legislator and the judicial system. I received a lot of flags on social media, but luckily a number of experts, experts agreed with me. More news will follow with the appeal. What do you think? Leave comments below. Did you like this video? There's more where this came from. Subscribe and click the bell to get notified about our new videos.